Another type of problem that we may solve by using the dynamic programming approach is the equipment replacement problem. In this problem, we need to determine or decide how long we should use a machine before we trade it or replace it with a new one. So in this example, we are looking at a repair shop that have an engine analyzer. The new engine cost $1,000. And then we are given the cost of maintaining the analyzer during its eighth year of operation. So um, for example, if you have a new machine at time zero, then M1 $60 is um, the, maintain, the maintenance cost for the machine during this year, so the first year of operating the machine. The analyzer may be kept for one, two, or three years. It means that after uh, three years, you must replace it with a new one. You cannot use the machine for more than three years, okay? And then it says, um, if you trade an engine analyzer machine, then you obtain a salvage value, which is um, depends on how many years you have used the machine. So it says I year old engine analyzer, then the salvage value is SI. So S1 equals 800. Again, suppose you have a new machine at time zero, you use it for one year, it means if you um, trade the machine at this point of time, it means that you will get $800 as the salvage value because the machine is one year old and then uh, you sell it or you trade it. And then it says, given that a new machine must be purchased now. So at time zero, you must purchase um, a new machine. The shop wants to determine a replacement and trade-in policy such that the net costs are minimized. So the net costs include maintenance costs, replacement costs, and salvage value. So salvage value has a sign of um, negative because it means that you receive the money. And then the time period for this um, problem is five years from time zero to time five. So we are going to break this problem into stages and the stage here is the time, from the time zero up to time five. So you see here that um, we don't call this as year zero, year one, and so on, because it can be kind of confusing if you uh, name the time points as year and then also you need to say um, the maintenance cost for one year old machine, two year old machine and then it will be confusing. So we just say that the time points we name it as time and then the kind of the duration between time points we name them as the year. Okay so we have five points of time time zero to time five and they are our stages at each stage with the exception of time zero and time five we have these two possible decisions keep the machine that we have or trade the machine with a new one okay however we need some information such that we can make a reasonable decision. What I mean here by reasonable is that, let's say if you have at the beginning of a particular point of time, T, let's say you have a machine that has been used for three years. Can you keep the machine for another year? According to the problem, no. So um, that's why this uh, information is important. We need to know how long have we used the machine or what is the age of the machine or what is the condition of the machine. Condition in this case is the age such that we may uh, make the reasonable decision. 
like I said, if the machine has been used for three years, obviously the only possible decision is to trade the machine, to replace it with a new one, right? Okay, so let's continue. So that kind of information that we need to make reasonable decisions is the state. Remember that state is the information that we need to make a reasonable decision. In this case, the information that we need is the age of the machine at the beginning of time t. So this is the state. And finally, the recursion function that we would like to construct is the one that to minimize net costs during the next five years. Let's start with the very last stage in our problem, stage five. So because this point of time, time five, is really the end of this problem, so the only possible decision is to sell the machine that you have at the beginning of time five because um, this is the end of the problem. So whatever condition your machine is at the beginning of time five, you just sell it because um, this problem ends here, right? So the revenue from selling the machine at time five depends on the age of the machine, right? If the age of uh, your machine is one year old, then F51 equals minus 800. So 800 is the salvage value of a one year old machine. Okay, so F51 is the total cost from time five to the end of the problem. If the age of the machine at the beginning of time five is one year old and the value of the cost is minus 800. Remember again minus here because we sell the machine, we get the money. So in terms of cost, this is something that is um, having the negative sign. Okay, but we have another if. What if the machine's age is two years old? Well, now your cost become minus 600, F52. And then we also have another if, which is if the machine's age is three years old. So F53 is minus 500. As usual, we don't know yet whether we will have, whether the optimal solution will give us a machine that is one year old, two years old, or three years old at the beginning of time five. We don't know yet at we don't know yet about that at this moment because we are going to move backward until we reach time zero. At that time, we know which one of this is true. But at this moment, we need to, um, we need to write down all the possible ages of our machine at the beginning of time five. Now let's move one step backward to time four. Because the state is the age of the machine. So as usual, we always think about what are the possible states. In this case, what are the possible ages of the machine at the beginning of time four? The answer is one, which means has been used for a year, two, or three. Zero is impossible because we can't suddenly have a new machine unless it is time zero. So at any point of time, time one, two, three, four, five, we just can't suddenly have a new machine, okay? Four is also impossible because after three years of using the machine, we must replace it with a new one. So at the beginning of any year, we cannot have a machine that has the age of four year old. So now for each of this possibility, one year old machine, two year old machine, three year old machine, we think about the possible decisions. If the age is one year old, 
then we may either keep the machine for another year or trade it with a new one. Same thing if the age of the machine is two years old, but if the age of the machine is three years old, then the only possible decision is we must trade this machine with a new machine. So let's start looking at if the age of the machine at the beginning of time 4 is 1 year old. We have two possible decisions, trade it or keep it. So let's see the total cost related to selling a 1 year old machine. So we get the revenue from the salvage value of a 1 year old machine. So it is $800 and the sign is negative. And then because in the auto repair shop, the machine must always be available. So after we sell this one year old machine, we need to buy a new one. So we purchase a new one and the cost is plus $1,000. So here at the beginning of time four, we sell the one year old machine we purchase a new machine. And then during this year, the maintenance cost is $60 because um, this new machine is experiencing its first year operation. Okay, And do not forget to add it with FT plus one, which is cost from the later stages from T plus one up to stage T or at the end of the problem. So here, if the stage T equals 4, this is F5. And the state inside the bracket becomes 1 because um, if you sell your old machine at the beginning of time 4, then you buy a new one. At the beginning of time 5, the age of that new machine is already 1 year old. That's why you see here FT plus 1 and then inside the bracket, there's the number 1. Another possible decision at the beginning of time 4 is to keep the one year old machine. So we are going to use it for another year. So that's why there is a maintenance cost for the second year of operating the machine. It becomes the second year because at the beginning of time 4, it is already one year old. We use it for another year, so the machine is experiencing its second year. And you also see here in FT plus 1, the number inside the bracket is 2, because at the beginning of time 4, the age is 1, and then at the beginning of time 5, the age becomes 2, because we decide to keep the machine for another year. Now let's see if the age of the machine at the beginning of time 4 equals 2 year old. Same as before, we have two possible decisions, trade the machine with a new one or keep the machine for another year. So for the trade decision, we have similar costs as before. The first is the salvage value selling a two-year-old machine and then we need to buy a new one because in the shop the machine must always be available so sell the old one we must buy a new one and then the cost of maintenance during the first year operating the machine and then for ft plus one for the next stage the state becomes one because we sell our two-year-old machine buy a new one so at the beginning of next year the age becomes one if we keep the two-year-old machine then we have the maintenance cost for the third year operating the machine because two year old and then we keep it for another year so uh, the maintenance cost corresponds to using the machine for the third year and then in the next stage at the beginning of time t plus 1, the age of our machine becomes 3. 
So if at the beginning of time 4 the machine is already 3 years old, the only possible decision is to trade the machine with a new one. So we sell the 3 year old machine, we buy a new one because in the auto repair shop we must have the machine. And then this is the maintenance cost for the first year operating the machine. And then in the next stage, the age of the machine is one year old. And this is the cost from operating the machine um, starting from the time t plus one up to the end of the problem. Because this is stage four, so t, the small t equals four, and then t plus one equals five. So what you need here is go to stage 5 and take the value of F51, F52, F53 and then you plug in those values such that now you may get F41, F42 and F43. Remember that if you have a curly bracket, you always pick one that is the smallest because we want to minimize the cost. Pick one that is the smallest and put an asterisk on that decision. The recursion formula for stage 3 is exactly the same. So same as before, what you need here is the value of F41, F42, and F43 such that you will get F31, F32, and F33. And same as before again, if you have a curly bracket, you want to minimize the, these two possible decisions, the cost from these two possible decisions. So pick one that is the smallest and then put an asterisk on that option. At stage two, which means we are at the time point two, the formula for the recursion function is still the same. We have ft1 and ft2, t equals two, except that we do not have ft3 because time 2 is just 2 years from the beginning of the problem, so it is impossible to have a 3-year-old machine. At stage 1, we only have FT1 because um, at this point of time, it is just 1 year uh, from the beginning of the problem, so the only possible age of the machine is 1 year old. So now we are at the beginning of the problem at time zero. Uh, the only possible age of the machine is zero or new machine, right? Because the problem says at the beginning of time zero, we need to purchase a new machine. And then after we buy a new machine, the only possible decision is to keep the machine. So we use the machine for a year, which means the maintenance cost is $60. And then at the beginning of time one, the age of the machine will have become one year old. Okay, so you have the value of F11 um, from the previous slide. And then as usual, to get the optimal solution, um, you just go forward, right? When we solve this problem, we go backward but now we have reached the beginning of the problem. So to obtain the optimal solution, you go forward. And then the optimal cost from time zero to time five is obtained by plugging in F11 to this equation. So that's how we're going to solve the equipment replacement problem. And in the next video, I'm going to talk about an alternative approach to formulate the recursion function to solve this problem. So see you on the next one. Thank you.